is the day we have all been waiting for. We're decorating our Christmas tree and I cannot wait. Today is by far one of my favourite days of the entire year. There is just such a magical feeling about tree decorating day and I am really really looking forward to spending the day with you all. First things first, it's time to get cosy. I am going to make myself a big hot chocolate with all the trimmings and this is your time to get cozy too get under the blankets light a christmas candle make yourself your favorite drink get some snacks and let's get cozy <laughs> winter candle is burning i've got a giant white hot chocolate today this is a vanilla white hot chocolate and it's just my new favorite thing it's so nice with whipped cream got a little kind of sunken gingerbread man on there today and i've just chosen my christmas film you guys know it is a tradition to watch one of my favorite christmas films whilst decorating the tree and for the past four years it's always been the grinch but today I'm breaking that tradition, which is actually a bit sad, but I really fancy watching Home Alone. Home Alone and The Grinch are two of my, actually I've got a lot of favourite Christmas films, I'm just thinking about them. But The Grinch and Home Alone are the two that I look forward to watching every single year. So yeah, today's choice is Home Alone, can't wait to see Kevin's face, he makes me feel very festive. So before we get started decorating our tree, I just wanted to say a huge thank you to Abbott Lion for sponsoring this part of today's video. I have got some really gorgeous new pieces to show you, which I feel like will make the most perfect Christmas gifts, either to add to your wish list this year or to buy for a loved one. I just think these are absolutely perfect. To start with some new jewelry pieces. Just look at the gift wrap. So you can actually select the gift wrap option, which, like I said, would be perfect for a Christmas gift. You can get it personalized. How special is that? I just think personalization just makes such a special touch. And then each piece of jewelry comes in its own little individual box. Really cute little touch. And you can actually keep these to store your jewellery in. First pieces I have to show you guys today are the Clover Custom Bracelet and Necklace. Which are designer inspired jewellery, you guys are going to love these so much. These are just so, so beautiful. They look like this, I'll do a little close up so you guys can see them in all their glory. And the Clover Custom Bracelet and Necklace can actually be chosen in gold or silver and you can choose up to eight clovers or you can personalise them as well. So I just think these would make the most gorgeous gift and they're going to look so pretty over like the festive season as well. But Lion actually have so many different personalised jewellery pieces so if that is something that you're thinking of buying someone for Christmas definitely have a browse. I'll leave a link in the description box because they have so many different ones to choose from. You guys would have seen before I've got my little Noah one which I absolutely love. I think having a piece of jewellery with your baby's name on it is just so special. But Lion also have watches as well. How stunning is that? I love the pearly face. If you guys have shopped on Abbott Lion before, you will know that the quality is just amazing. And then I have two of Abbott Lion's newest releases. I've got two of their gorgeous handbags, which again, can be personalized. So first up, we have this one in this gorgeous neutral color with the gold detail. How gorgeous is this? And then as you can see, We've got GLM at the bottom, which I think makes it unique. Like when I have something that's personalized, it feels like it's made for me. Then we also have this bag as well, which again is in the gorgeous neutral color, 
personalized again with Gemma and this one has long and short straps a really like versatile bag and the quality of all these items is just absolutely stunning like I said such value for money because the price these are with the quality they are is just really amazing so my loves i will leave a direct link down below for abbott lion definitely have a browse they've got something for everyone and like i said these pieces would make such an amazing gift this christmas it's time kevin 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 the nostalgia the nostalgia of this music isn't the home alone house just so dreamy what my absolute favorite bit of home alone is where kevin goes buzz your girlfriend woof i used to rewind that when i was younger and just watch it <laughs> that's strange isn't it um i just love that bit i just love this film and i'm really excited to watch it so christmas tree plans this year she's already up i actually put the tree up last night only because last year the flock situation was an issue i got absolutely covered head to toe in my eyes in my mouth i was finding flock for i'm still finding it <laughs> there was a lot of flock and i remember just being so itchy last year I thought if i get it all up ready fluff all the branches out and then last night i was able to like shower and then today hopefully we won't get as covered in flock the tree is all ready to be decorated i forgot how much i love this tree i got this one last year from we are christmas and it's just such a beautiful tree here he is in all his glory I feel like it's a very whimsical tree do you know what I mean? Because all of the branches are quite spindly. It's just absolutely gorgeous. It's pre-lit. It's seven foot. Really gorgeous tree. So Christmas tree theme this year is pretty much the same as last year. I was thinking about which colour I could do this year and I just loved last year's tree so much that I really wanted to recreate it. So we're going for lots of gorgeous neutrals. We've got some creams, we've got all the golds, we've got whites, um, and it's gonna be quite a glam, over the top tree because I just feel like, I've tried a lot of different things over the years and last year's tree was just, I, I just loved it so much. So we're gonna recreate that. Okay, my loves, this is what we're working with this year. We have my beloved stems, which you guys know I use every single year. Then we've got these, which I use for my tree topper. You can get these kind of things from, I think, most places now. The range actually had loads of different ones of these type of stems. Then for baubles, we have got a gorgeous selection of neutrals lots of gold we've got these gorgeous cream ones this year which are actually a new addition which i think are going to look really pretty we've got some whites these are from a selection of lots of different places over the years this is like my neutral gold bauble collection mainly from the range i'd probably say mostly the range you know like these big ones are from the range and they're super affordable i think these were like two pounds or something which is really good for a really gorgeous bauble i just forgot we've got another new addition this year which is these gorgeous icicles which i picked up from the range you guys would have seen these in my little haul which i did in my last video i'll link that down below but i think these are just going to look so beautiful i'm so happy with just how they go with the rest of the decorations okay my loves the first thing i like to do is you guys will know this if you've been here for my previous christmas tree decorating videos i'm gonna sound like a broken record but i truly believe the way to elevate your christmas tree is by using stems picks branches not too sure what their technical name is but they look a little something like this like i said most garden centers will do them the range I know I had loads this year. You can get loads of different colours, loads of different types, so whatever goes with your theme. But I have always added these into the Christmas tree as if they were a branch. For example, I simply get one and if there are any kind of gaps in my tree that I just feel like they look like they need filling out, I will simply 
pop the branch in as if it's a Christmas tree branch and just layer it on top like that. And honestly, this makes such a huge difference. I feel like it helps to fill your tree out so it looks fuller. You can get rid of any little gaps, but it also adds so much texture and the glitteriness of these branches, like when the lights of the Christmas tree are shining on them and the baubles are on there too, like everything bounces off each other and it just looks so gorgeous. Yeah, first thing I'm gonna do is go around the tree, add as many branches as I possibly can, and then I'll show you guys what it looks like with all of them in because it really does just transform your tree. Okay, the branches have been added and here is what the tree is looking like. As you can see, it just looks so much fuller. And I love how there's now like all of these additional sparkly branches coming out the side of the tree. I think that's my favorite bit. Like it just makes it look very whimsical. Next, I'm going to create my tree topper before I add any baubles. So we don't actually have a proper tree topper. What I like to do is kind of how they are now. I like to pop these in the top of the tree like that, just so there's a little something going on up there. Um, and once all the baubles are on, you really don't need like a tree topper. I think this is definitely enough. It's my favorite bit. Buzz your girlfriend. Okay, here's what the tree topper is looking like. Really happy with it. Feel like it is just perfect. It kind of like fills out the top of the tree um, and it's gonna look really nice when all the baubles are on there. Speaking of which, it's time to pop all the baubles on the tree. I like to start with all of my big kind of statement baubles. So ones like this, um, ones like this. I like to find a home for all of the big ones first. And then what I'll tend to do is also start around the base of the tree, like the chunkiest part of the tree. And then I'll add like my medium sized ones. And I've also got a lot of mini ones in here as well. And I'll add these kind of more towards the top of the tree. So the top of the tree doesn't look too busy. Something's tugging at my sleeve I do believe it's Christmas it's cold outside but I'm warm within cause Christmas time is here Okay, here is how we are looking. I've added pretty much all of the big baubles. I just kind of need to go round and like, I feel like straighten them up a little bit because I hate it when the bauble is like on a branch like this. So I just need to go round, have a little readjust, go backwards and forth about a hundred more times to see what it looks like from the door. Um, and then what I'm gonna start doing is, so these are all my big main baubles. 
then I'm gonna use all of these which are like filler baubles and you may be thinking that is a lot of baubles how many more times do i want to say the word bauble i do feel like these little mini ones which are from b&m so good you get a pack of like 40 for i think five pounds these are what really make the tree i feel like you can fill in any really little gaps with these and they just make it look super sparkly especially the little glittery ones so what I'll also do is, as you can see, the top of the tree is still pretty bare. So I like to put the mini ones at the top of the tree and really fill out all of this. As you can see, you can see like the top of stems, but I'll put all balls here to make sure that you can't see any stems or any like light leads. So yeah, I'll use the mini ones just to fill out any gaps and just make it look lovely and full. Christmas tree is really filling out now. I've pretty much added all of my baubles and as you can see it's filled in any little gaps and it's looking really pretty. My last job is I'm going to add the icicles. I'm really excited to add these. I feel like it's going to just really look so beautiful. Here is this year's finished tree in all its glory. I'm so happy with it. And the new additions this year, which were the icicles, I feel like make such a difference. Just so glittery and it's nice to have something more long than round like the rest of the baubles. And I only bought five, but honestly, they just make such a difference. I really, really love them and I am so happy with this year's tree. How I have waited for this moment to be sat next to my Christmas tree. The house feels so cozy i'm just so happy that the tree's up and i i love it i'm so happy with it i'm happy that i stuck to the same colors because i was going to do something totally different but oh i just love it so much i've had such a lovely day thank you guys so much for joining me today i have actually just popped in a little roast dinner in the oven i'm gonna make a mini roast um, so it kind of feels like Christmas day and I can't wait to see what Noah thinks of the tree when he gets home from nursery. Honestly, I feel like he might just destroy it. I think next year, I was thinking this earlier, I think next year might be the year that he can help me with the tree, which is something I'm really looking forward to. I'm looking forward to doing the tree together, which hopefully next year is the year. Now the tree's up, this means the proper festivities can begin. Um, I've got some really cosy vlogs planned for you guys over the next few months. We've got our centre parks trip soon, which is going to be so lovely and cosy. Um, and also in my next video, which will be next weekend, we are going to be decorating the rest of the house because obviously we only did the tree today. But yeah, I will catch up with you all in my next video. Thank you so much for spending time with me today and a Merry Christmas you filthy animals and a happy new year in the words of home alone which is honestly one of the best best films ever i think i'm gonna pop home alone 2 on in the kitchen whilst i cook the rest of our roast dinner having a little home alone marathon today love you guys so much appreciate all of you so much and i will see you all next weekend merry christmas